Hey, what's up, Forms? The evil monkey from Family Guy, the one that's always pointing at Chris Griffin. And I'm bringing you guys some domination on Nuketown. It's fairly standard gameplay, just hold C and B and keep them locked back at A. The reason I picked it is because I'm just doing a quick update, and since I'm in the air so long when I'm playing this game, if you cut out all that footage, it makes for a pretty short video. Um, so the update is in regards to Modern Warfare 3. It actually affects Black Ops as well. But for, for some time now, people have been speculating the possibility of paying for extra content for Call of Duty. And, and we found out what that content's going to be. It's not going to be microtransactions, and it's definitely not going to be pay to play. There's been a lot of people worrying that you're going to have to pay a monthly subscription fee to play the multiplayer. That is not the case. It's a, it's a service known as Call of Duty Elite. And some of it is going to be free. You are going to be able to access it right out of the box when you get Modern Warfare 3. And it also affects Black Ops, so you're going to be able to use it in Black Ops as well. But it's a, it's going to be composed of four different uh, areas, I guess. And it's a way of kind of, um, kind of unifying all the Call of Duties, at least from Black Ops and beyond. It's going to keep your, your statistics from this game onward. And it's just one location where you can access it and get information on everything. And I'll include all the articles that are covering the Call of Duty Elite if you guys want to read up on it and I'll also include the video there's a video that describes everything as well and finally there's a beta that you guys can get into this summer if you guys want to sign up and give it a try and, and kind of put in feedback and and see what you think you can try to get in there as well but there's four big areas there's career which is from my understanding just like Bungie.net it keeps track of all your statistics heat maps breakdowns of accuracy per gun, KD per gun, kind of everything that you get with Black Ops right now, but even more detail. Uh, I haven't seen everything involved with it yet, but that's my understanding. And, and, and like I said, career, so it'll keep track of both Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3. Then there's the Connect feature, which the best description I've heard is a merger of Facebook and Call of Duty. And it's a way of just bringing people together. So people that have similar interest groups, so maybe people who really like dogs or be more specific people that like corgis or something you start typing in corgis and everybody who has that same interest it'll come up and you can request to play in a group with them and that's my computer and I'm getting a bunch of emails um, and uh, the other thing is it supports private clans as well so say if you want to create a, a competitive private clan you can you can do that as well it has that support for that functionality and speaking of competitive private clans the next feature is competition now they didn't talk into too much detail about prizes in there, but there, there will be prizes, there will be competitions for different types of prizes. Um, I don't know what the competitions entail, if, if they're going to be based on competitive rules or based on rule sets in public matches. None of those details were released yet, but they are going to set up some type of competition play modes uh, or competition events. And the final feature is Improve, which has a it's like a library of videos and, and weapon statistics and, and breakdowns on how to use weapons and how to handle different maps or different routes on different maps and how to use kill streaks and perks to your advantage. Uh, uh, basically just a, a 101 on how to play Call of Duty. And, and also one of the things I noticed is there was a lot of support for theater mode. I think even one of the contests, one of the things you can do in the contest is like picture of the day. I guess whatever wins picture of the day could win a prize. And the promising thing about that is with that much buzz about the theater mode, I, I, I'm, I'm jumping out on a limb here. This is unofficial, but it feels like if they're putting this much emphasis on theater mode, then we could be seeing, or it's a strong indicator that there will be theater mode in Modern Warfare 3. Now, that's not confirmed. <laughs> this is just something I'm speculating based on how much support they have for theater mode. Now, they didn't talk about how much this plan will cost. Like I said before, you do get some of it for free, but there is going to be a monthly subscription to use all of the features. And they said it's not going to cost more than Netflix, which I think is around eight bucks a month. So maybe anywhere from five to eight bucks. I don't know. We have haven't seen the pricing for it yet. What they did say is that if you do uh, take part in the subscription, you do pay for it, then you get the map DLC or the DLC content. It will be included. Now, I, I don't know how they handle that. What stops me from signing up the month they release DLC and just picking up the, the contents for you know less than what they're offering? I guess if they sell it for 15 bucks, maybe you have to be signed up for a certain couple of months in order to qualify for it. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see how they handle that. But my question for you guys, even if, even if it was like 50 cents a month, a dollar a month, what, 
is this something you're interested in at all? Do you think this is useful or beneficial to you in any way, shape, or form? I know for me, at least in my personal experiences, no, I, I have really no interest in it. I did sign up for the beta. I am going to try it out and see how it works. But as it is right now, for statistics, the only thing I really look at is win, loss, and KD, and I don't really pay attention to it that much. I, even Black Ops has you know KD based on each gun, accuracy based on each gun. I've never checked that once. I, I know the guns I like. I know how they work. I, I don't really need statistics backing that up, I guess, because I, I just know what works well for me. Um, the connection feature, I obviously, I, you know, playing with the forum boys, I, I don't need that feature as well. And on top of that, there's a lot of websites that do that already, um, inherently. They, they have a big systems that, that connect people together to play both competitively and casually. Uh, competition, if I was going to do that, I'd probably go into game battles. And I think it's free, uh, at least for for normal competition. I don't know, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I think normal competition, uh, game battles is fine. And finally, improvement, I mean, there's a million videos on YouTube right now that you can pull up and look so none of the things offered right now as it stands uh, is something that I would want to use but I don't know maybe you guys think it's interesting maybe you guys want to, might want to try it out let me know in the comments what you guys think and like always take it easy